Hey everybody, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a good one wherever and whenever you are. Right now I'm recording this during the summertime and I'm actually sitting in the backyard so I can watch little birds and all the fun stuff. But I'm going to record a video today about how to use Prezi. And I had a teacher friend who asked me about that so I wanted to show you. But I also have a lot of people that ask me, oh, how do you make those videos? And I used to think it was complicated. I want to remind everybody, go to Screencast-O-Matic. I have an account here. You don't have to have an account. You can record videos up to just like 15 minutes, and you can do it with for the free non-account. So go ahead and do that. Enjoy it. But what we're going to take a look at, again, is how to make Prezi's. Now, I remember when I first saw these. I was in class with Aaron Foe, and he put some up on the screen and I was like oh my goodness that's the coolest stuff ever but it's got to be too complicated how can I go ahead and make one of those things right so like I was watching his foe put one of these things up on the board and okay it started off it was a picture and I was like okay that's kind of interesting and then he starts it starts moving around and it's going from one thing to another and then it could even go into video and of course it had all that foe enthusiasm and I'm like, oh my goodness, this looks so cool. How can I go ahead and make one of these myself? Okay, so this is Prezi here. And this is where you can go. And again, I do have an account. And I got it, an educator account. And I got a couple of the extra bells and whistles, so I paid for it. Um, but you can also get um, the free educator account and there's a lot of things that you can do with that everything I'm going to show you here today really you can do with their free account as far as that I can tell so you come in here and you can create a new Prezi now what's so cool about Prezi I'm going to look at this one which is a copy of learn how so we can look at it together is Prezi's way different than PowerPoint PowerPoint goes boom 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 linear like that right a Prezi you're using this whole huge map you see this whole map and what you're doing is you're designing paths on how to go from one thing to another I don't know if that sounds complicated yet but it's really not because if you go back to here when you create a new Prezi you've got all sorts of different templates and everything that you can go ahead and use Okay, why you can make a Prezi from scratch, you can also come in here and they've got all these different templates and you can look at them, you can find different ones that are really sort of more in line with what you're looking for that already fit the thoughts of how you want yours to look. So you don't have to do all the work, you can come in here and just get on one of those. But I'm going to bring us to this copy of this where we are learning how to make one and you'll see on the side here this will be very familiar for you that have made powerpoints before right so like if i click on this right here i could edit that that's going to be number one and that's actually showing me the whole huge screen right here if i go to number two see this is my second one here when i present it would go from here and then the path would bring me right to here. I can add content anywhere. So I can edit the text right here. And Schmelke only has a little clue what he is doing. And you know, that's kind of true. So then if I come down here, and I've got another text box, right? I can click on that, and then I can move it around anywhere that I want. I can also come up, and I could insert different things into it. Image, symbols, shapes, YouTube videos. So I would want to have the link already. This is a little different than when we're using say like Google Classroom um, and the Google Docs where you can search for it. You already want to know what your link is before you insert it. I'm going to come over here 
I can always zoom out. Okay. I come through all of these different things and I can add stuff into it. Anytime I wanted to add a new frame, I could click on this. And then I'm going to bring a new frame down there. Maybe I want a circle. Maybe I want a bracket. And we could get into a lot more in depth on why to use certain ones of these. But I just want to give you a basic idea on how to get into Prezi and start using it. Also, like with different PowerPoints and things, say if I'm arranging these. And I've got it right now going from the widescreen view of everything. So click on Home and it brings me back there. Brings me over to number two. Then it's going to bring me to number three. Maybe I want to switch these around. I want to go from and start right over here. I'm just going to move those around. And now that becomes number two. That becomes number three. Okay? In the end, I can hit present and I can see what it looks like. Let me move my face a little bit out of the way. Sorry, I can't move it all the way out of the way. So, I could start off with my main point. This was originally, remember, what they had as the first one. So, I'm going to go from there and then into here. It's going to move me around kind of like the way that you're thinking or describing something, which is what I like how Prezi's work. So, it just keeps moving you through things. And anytime, like if I was back here, and I wanted to see this, if I click on it, it's going to zoom me in. Okay? So it just keeps moving me all around the screen. I determine I can go in there and easily edit what I am going to put in there. And Prezi also has some very nice videos if I want to learn how to put things together that might be better than mine. I mean, you might think so. All right, so that's just a quick idea on how to get started if you want to make a Prezi and also if you want to go ahead and record your stuff. I hope I didn't confuse anybody. You don't have to record it like this to go ahead and present it because I can go ahead, I can save it there, I can share it, I can download things. So if I hit like share this Prezi, then I can decide if it's hidden, is it public? I can get a link that I can go ahead and send to somebody. I can add people by email right here. So it's a little different than Google Docs, but some of the same idea. Anyway, I hope that that helps you and that you can have some fun with this too and realize that it's not too hard to use. As always, any questions, please let me know or talk to somebody else like Foe who probably knows even more about how to make these really cool.